peeps, I think we got a good picture for you today. Uh, we're working here is we're gonna cut this guy's trees around this guy's house. He's a good man, real neat dude. I got to talk to him yesterday. He uh, he's done all kinds of stuff. When he was a boy, he was from here. He was born born here, but he moved to Michigan as a kid. Was raised in Michigan in Detroit. Went to work in the steel mill, hated every minute of it, he said. Moved out west and worked for years in a uh, diamond mine, I think. Copper mine. In Nevada, I think. No, it was in uh, Colorado, I believe. Then went to Nevada. Or no, California worked in a gold mine. This guy's done it all. This, this guy's got a real neat story. Got a nice house, a neat house, a well-kept house, a wonderful wife, beautiful wife. Um, and uh, he's got these trees over his house. So we're gonna have to cut these suckers. And they are gonna be tough. Here we go, into the liability zone. Oh man. And I've been in that house this morning and I'm gonna tell you that's a nice house. I don't want to tear anything in there. She got that house, beautiful spick and span on the inside. that hickory by hand i don't being this what? close to the house cut what i'm gonna cut that hickory by hand and i'll push it with this and i'll pluck them maples with brutus but i'm gonna work on them slowly but surely what about that big, big, big? yeah i'll get it it's got nails in it i'll just put it on the side somewhere but i'll lay it down to, uh, to be got what nails in it yeah down low you, you, there's nails sticking out of it I'll lay it right down there for your drainage, for your drainage block. I laid some down up there and ran up on top of them and hopefully mashed them in a little. First item of business here is a hickory, uh, I think a pig nut. And, uh, it's leaning. I never did get a good camera angle on all this stuff that I'm a cutting and pushing. But uh, I promise you, that's to the east. The house is to the east of these trees, and I'm promising you, there these these these. Now some of them you can catch a glimpse out of the corner of my, uh, and I'm putting a triple hinge in it. But a couple of them, you can catch a glimpse out of the corner of the screen and Brutus when I go to push on them. And you can see the next hickory I cut, it is, there. it's dropping nuts in the front yard to crawl over the top of the house. I mean, it is ridiculous. But it don't look at the base of the tree. It don't look like it's that bad, but it is over the top of the house, period. It's dropping nuts over the ridge cap on the front yard there. So, uh... <clears throat> These are pretty bad, even though I don't cover them good on my angles. Uh, I didn't want to, I didn't need the aggravation of a lot of extra mess to do because this job, cognitively, I'm working as hard as I can mentally to get this down. So. <laughs> it's my first day. <laughs> I didn't care. I just wanted away from the house. <laughs>
long as I got that other tree to push against and I don't cut it off where it falls on the house, we'll be good. That's a maple. It's not tall. different position because I want to be kind of behind it just in case I screw up. And there's a boss lady in there watching it. So the boss lady's watching no mistakes. I need to be on this side because it's against the lane but I don't want to hit the porch either this so much. Look how close I am to that building. I'll do it. I don't like it. Whatsoever. could cut that one yesterday that dot was on that tree i was like well hell i'm gonna cut it there's a dot on it that makes me feel a whole lot better because look well yeah but you, you were worried about this you said you're gonna yeah. get somebody to help you it's a hickory i think i'm fine i ain't worried about that what i'm worried about is hitting the bottom of the building when it hits the ground i need to keep the tree in front of the stump oh my god the damn building gonna come down no i mean <laughs> i don't want to tear nothing up yeah. i've got it trust me i wouldn't even start this if i didn't have it i'm that kind of guy i can't i hit a garage one time and it liked to kill me oh my so that, that was years ago and i vowed never to do that again you know what I, mean? I was a lot younger let me get this straight you're weak yeah not not dale okay wait, wait yeah right. now weight wise i got it fiber wise hickory fiber is kick ass so fiber the the hold the glue 
You see how that hickory pulled out them big long strings? That means yeah. that tree is not letting go. Yeah. I so that's good. Yeah. So if I make the hinge right, Brutus is at the right angle. Yeah. I know what you got in mind. We should have her by the ass, but I just don't want no. I don't want her to hit nothing on that building. Well, I just. I know you know what you're doing. Yesterday you said you're going to get some help with that. Yeah. And I know you're nervous in your situation too, but I mean, I, I got, I, I wouldn't even start if I didn't have it. Yeah. If it wasn't a hickory, well, I don't even know if I'd do it if it wasn't a hickory. I see. You can get, you see when I did that poplar? Yeah. That's a piece of shit compared to that tree. I know that. I can beat the hell out of that tree and it's gonna hang tight. Yeah. And that, and, and cutting that other hickory down there, it made me feel a lot better. So your trees are good right here. It's in a good spot. And Brutus is in a good spot. I'm happy with where my machine's setting. But the only thing I don't like is when I pass your eave, I can't follow the tree on down with my head. So at that point, the tree has to go on its own. Yeah. So I cannot hit my machine because if it hits my machine, it'll bonk off of it and slide over there. Yeah. Well, you can come up farther if you want to. You, yeah, I just... There's nothing, nothing in here. The, Set the tanks out there and the meat filters that way. Let me see what my angle looks like. Piece of cake. We'll get this.
me get to it. Oh, come on, baby. Feet don't fail me now. My feet can't fail me now. I wish I could portray on a video how I feel right now. God damn it. Get around that tree. Come on, baby, do what you're supposed to do. Do it just like you're supposed to do it. the wood I just didn't want to come and lose you know what I mean it's just a damn old hickory tree yeah I wouldn't have been near that cocky if it was a red oak or a poplar or something I did every trick I knew to make damn sure that was you did good you did awesome yeah my heart's done beating out of my chest now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now, what, what are they going to do? Are they going to bring that skid and loader and take this out? Yeah. I got them trails heading straight over the hill. Okay. So you're seeing about as much mess as you're going to see. Okay. And straight in. Everything with this machine set up straight to... Okay. So when he comes in, there ain't no... Skid ain't like it used to be. He don't have to use his brains at all. He just grabs and goes, you know. You know they said they're going to move out Saturday. Yeah, that's what we're going to try to do, yeah. yeah. Uh, so far, it's looking like that's going to happen. Okay. Well, I'll get my nerves settled. I'll go work on that red oak. See, I wanted that to stay on the stump because I was afraid if it hit the ground, i let it go. It'd bounce over and hit that. Yeah. That's why I cut that big old notch out of the front. I don't know why you did it. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Not much more here that might hit the house, so that's good. Thank goodness. So they bring the skid loader and drag these out to the Volvo. Where's the Volvo now? Down in here somewhere? Yeah. Straight down the very bottom in the corner. Uh-huh. Okay. And the way everything's set up, if you watched me cutting when I was before I blushed everything in, I'm just making rows. Uh -huh. And he's just coming in, so there ain't no corners to make and skint trees and stuff like that because he's just going straight out. Right. Okay. So this is about as much damage as you're going to see. Good. Okay.
This is your worst tree. I cut that other one this morning. I cut that other one this morning. That little sassafras. Okay. As far as something falling on you, this one was going to fall on you before any of the rest of them did. Yeah, this this is a good this is one of the better trees here. I'll I'll get it down. Well, I think my heart attack settled down now. I might get in. <laughs> Said I think my heart attack settled down now. I'll get back in there and try again. <laughs> well, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, you take your yeah, hook, whatever. Okay. Break that away if we can cut. Okay. And. Uh, then I'll pluck that sassafras when, when I get that red oak on the ground. That's the one I don't trust out of all the trees here. Is that one right there that woodpecker's been eating on? Yeah. I watch him. <laughs> I just have to step out here and uh, that big, I don't know how to pronounce it, pileated or pileated? P I L E A T E D. He's about that big. I watch him throw chips out of there like he's like. Like a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Really fun. tree hanging around the back. I want to knock him down. I want that red oak to have a clear path down. My wife said to give you this. Oh, <laughs> she did. <laughs> Is it wine? Huh? The bottle of wine? Yeah. My wife loves that. I'll give that to her. You what? Said my wife loves wine, I'll give it to her. Okay, well she said give that away. What a sweetheart. She's a daggone sweetheart, you know it? Daggone. <laughs> oh hell. She's too much. <laughs> That's the first time anybody's ever gave me a bottle of wine. <laughs> Get this scrap out of the way. Yeah, I'm that sassafras come down without dropping anything. That was surprising. <laughs>
triple hinge on it and it's solid. It should be, I should be able to get pretty damn rough on this thing if I need to. Oh, on the wrong side of the tree though.